So this is one of my hangouts. This is where I met Gunnar Fox and, and Robert Schaefer. This is uh, Schaefer's Garment Hotel. They pretty much make every jean that I've ever wore. And uh, they made a really cool one for Road to Paloma that I wore. And then we continued on to Red Road and then it's Aquaman and Justice League. And it's, it's, my, it's my boys and they're made in Hollywood. And they made one pair of jeans that I really, really loved. And they don't make them anymore. And I'm asking them to make them again. So let's go check it all out. Where it happens, right, Mom? That's right. What up? Check it out. This is my pant when I was a lot skinnier. Uh, beautiful is a Japanese selfish denim mm -hmm. that you took in, you mastered it, made it your own, made it your own. And it was a blue, what is it? So it's, a, it's an indigo blue and then it has what's called a blackout over it. So it's, it's a non-pigment coating that goes over it so that when it breaks in, you get the blue and the white comes through. Which I can't find anywhere. No. It was my favorite pair of jeans. And he made them. So look at my ass, it just like blew those things out. But they look good. So that one, was those Justice League? Aquaman. These ones are thick. How thick are these things? 25s. 20, how much is this one? This is like 15, so 15 ounce. 15 ounce. This thing's 25 ounce. This thing's like bulletproof. This is what I wore and I was wet on Aquaman. But my favorite of all, my Road to Palomas, have been discontinued until now. <laughs> Go grab me. Made in Hollywood. There they are. So you can get them. The hardware on now. And I did one little touch different. I left one on these, we black selvage out. Yeah. When we did the coating, I left one selvage side uncoated so that you know that they're yours. You tell me. Ugh, I gotta come up with a good name, but the Palomas, man. That's a great film. This is a great name. This is the road to Palomas. the Palomas. That's a great name. Good dub. <laughs> Stood a girl with a frown, said, Let me just set these down. And I'll be I bought and sold vintage for a long time and worked regular jobs. And I moved out here to take a guy's store over that did denim repair and vintage. Long story short, I kind of rebuilt his business. We just kind of grew it from there, like, you know, a little bit at a time. I made one pair of jeans to start and then had a lot of vintage here. And then I just kind of kept making pieces that I felt we're not out there, you know? I feel like people miss a lot of the simplicity and they miss the way it should be done. And, and when they do do it simple, it's too boring. So I try to kind of bring in some subtle flavor and do it the right way. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll be a suit when man with gold in my hand if today doesn't do me in. Right here. Shop Road to Paloma in this alleyway right here. Okay. Right in there. Yeah. It's the closest thing that looks like in New York. <laughs> That guitar slide scene, right? Yep. Buddy. Uh -huh. This is awesome. Keep it tight. You're doing it, man. I got a head full this morning, cutting out through the fog. You know I can't help but wonder what's left. From every road that dead ends to those old bitter men passing time on the old Beautiful. Yeah. Tailored fit. Boom. Thank it's a pleasure you. to be, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. You did great, Lorenzo. Sometimes it's in on your mind. But if it's all that you've got, so those were the road to Plum. These are the original. They stopped making these for what, eight years? Eight years you stopped making them, couldn't make them. They're back. That's what they look like original. That's what they're going to turn into. This happened in about. Three months, just hard work making movies. I had four pairs of them. They're like my lived in these puppies. Yeah. <laughs>